Hadi. This is my sweetest roommate Salam. Hello. And <laughs> she is going to tie a fly for fly fishing and we'll try to learn from her. Okay, Salam. Thank you so much for the introduction. I really appreciate to be able to share my skills. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start with a Can we have more light here? Um, light master. <laughs> Actually, great! Yeah, Amazing! Yeah. <laughs> Can you hold that? That's perfect! <laughs> yes, that works perfect. great! Hopefully one I'll start one. with a um, thread. What it Wrap it around the it? shaft of a hook. I think we used that 12 size hook. Wrap it around a couple of times. Okay. Cut the loose end. And then we're gonna start. We're gonna use two types of feathers. We're gonna start with this kind. Wrap it around to um, fix it. Probably won't. <laughs> See if that works. Okay. Wrap the feather around the shaft as well and then tighten it for secure it. And then Wow, she's so fast. As Sibel wanted, wished, we're gonna use peacock feather. Yeah. Oh my shiny. god, so good. Can you see it? <laughs> yes, so beautiful. <laughs> so we use one little feather. And uh, wrap that around the shaft, basically, to make it more shiny. To make it look like an insect. Insect. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what, what that's what the fish are going to be eating. Cut the leftovers. And then we'll make a really special knot. Wow. Or a couple. And because these knots are not perfect, I'm gonna cheat. And put one little dot of glue on top of it. And we cut the loose end. And that's how a Tenkara fly is born. Wow. Nice. Perfect demonstration. <laughs>